Welcome friends. Today we will explain about the MRT product. MRT introduced this conversion for NVMe SSD. So what is the use of this conversion? MRT already giving this device with uh, with uh, these chips. This is also coming. This is a heater. So this is coming for the NVMe temperature controller to heat the NVMe. And this is used for the PC3000 portable. But we are using this for with MRT tool also for some NVMe. So this we are using with the NVMe SSD to load LDR and all those things also we are using in this control. Okay, so how to use this? We will show you today. Uh, this is your female connection and MRT is also required female connection. So we required one converter that we are using here. That is male to male. One connection is this male to male, and another small is coming. So we have ordered this male to male connection. We connect with this converter, okay, and we connect with an MRT also. MRT port three, port one. MRT port one. So it is already power on. So we will disable it. We make a power off here. We go back. So this is my port one, and this is your connection. Now we will connect this NVMe SSD here directly here, and we the, here is a lock. So we will open the lock first. We will open this lock. And we will put here like this. This is a lock. No need of rubber here. Why is this use? Sometimes we have to heat the NAND chip. So to give the NAND chip heating, dry solder is there. The uh, NAND chip and PCB there is a dry solder. In that condition, we have to give on some heat to NAND to read. In this condition, we are using these things. So this is your NAND chip first, and this is your heater. It will heat the NAND chip. Depend on the controller. So we will insert this with three pin, three pin here, three pin here, and three pin here. See, you can check here. Is a three pin, and here is also three pin connected properly. This three pin, three pin. Now it is connected with this. This is adapter SSD M.2 PCI and SATA both converter. Now we will power on here. See, it is power on, and here it is showing the temperature. When we give the power, it shows the temperature. You can control this temperature. It is now you can check the heater. You can check here the heating. It is normally 37.4. Here is a three buttons. One we can check how many temperature is there. Current temperature we can increase the temperature here 37. We can decrease the temperature. And currently what temperature we can check here. So there are two options. See it is reducing. If I increase the temperature here. If I increase the temperature here, it will increase the temperature of this. See, now it is not heating. After we are increasing this, it will heat the NAND chip. If it is not reading properly in that condition, we have to heat this chip. Here is a 80 degree. We have set to 80 temperature, and current temperature is 49. See, it is slowly, slowly increase. We can check here. The temperature is increasing. See. Slowly, slowly, temperature is increasing. Depend on that, because it is top layer. In bottom, there is a another layer. See, the temperature is increasing. And this below temperature is very high. So here will be more temperature. You can check here. See temperature. It's forty-two, forty-three. It will show less because it is in top cover and bottom PCB is very heating. Then bottom is down, so it will take long time. See, 50, 47. The temperature is increasing. So this is temperature has gone up to 70 to 73. In some ICs required heating process. So in that condition we are using this. Now we can connect here, and if data is taking error, we can go in here and we can recover it. We can go to task here. If there is too many bad sectors, so sometimes these bad sectors will by uh, by heating it will be removed. In that condition also we can do this. Okay. So 
ओके वी कैन कॉपी और वी कैन इमेज लाइक दैट यू ऑल्सो वी कैन डू हियर और वी कैन लोड एल डी आर एंड वॉट एवर द प्रिपेयरिंग यू कैन डू बाई द हीटिंग दिस इज ओनली यूज फॉर द हीटिंग पर्पोज इफ डाटा इज नॉट कॉपी देर इज टू मेनी बैड सेक्टर्स यू टू ड्राई शोल्डर इट इज नॉट रीडिंग नैन इज नॉट रीडिंग प्रॉपरली वी कैन मेक अ टेम्परेचर यू कैन चेक नाउ टोटल ओवर टेम्परेचर इज एटी पॉइंट नाइन फिक्स बट करंटली इट इज इन सेवेंटी नाइन सी नाव इट हेज गोन्ड रीच अप टू एटी वन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिड्यूज द टेम्परेचर वी विल सेट हियर एंड वी विल रिड्यूज इट यू कैन चेक नाउ द टेम्परेचर ऑल्सो इट इज अबाउट सी सेवेंटी वन समाइम इट विल बी गो हाई मोर देन नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर सी सिक्सटी फोर दिस इज नाउ हीटिंग टू मच हीट यू कैन नॉट प्रेस हियर इट इज टू मच हीट तो मोर इंक्रीज यू कैन इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर हाई ऑल्सो सी एटी पॉइंट थर्टी वन यू कैन इंक्रीज अप टू वन ट्वेंटी ऑल्सो डिपेंड ऑन योर चिप तो दिस इज फॉर टेम्परेचर कंट्रोलर वी रिड्यूज नाउ टू कम टू नॉर्मल टेम्परेचर समटाइम सम नैन चिप दे आर वर्किंग विद द हाई टेम्परेचर तो दिस इज वन ऑप्शन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इफ आईसी इज ओवर हिटेड देन अनदर प्रोसेस इज दैट If IC is overheated, we are using some another solutions to dry to make it temperature low, and then we can recover the data. So this process is for recovering data, not repairing purpose. So temporary, we have to recover all the data. We are doing this process. Okay. So this is one process. What the tool? How to use this tool that we have shown the demo. So this is working. You can connect this. Now here it is too much heat now also. So we will reduce the temperature here. So we can reduce here temperature to down. See, slowly, slowly it will come down. And one more coming for cooling, but this cold device is not working. See, it goes minus device minus also. Temperature minus also gone. See, this also it is there, but till to come minimize it will not come. Below thirty normal temperature, but sometimes you can use a heat uh, cold cold also. But here is not cold; it is only hot. So this is a process. So this is your conversion. So if you want this device, you can contact us. If you want the training about how to use perfectly about NVMe recovery, SSD recovery, you can call us. Some controller are supporting, some are not supporting. You can load LDR also if you have SSD enabled. You can load the LDR and you can repair with the MRT or PC3000 or portable. So whatever that. So this is very good tool for temperature control to heat the NAND chip to recover the data. Okay. So for data recovery, we are using this also. In some case, we are using this also. Okay. Thank you.